Hello everyone, Helicus Ranger here. Oh, mm, sorry, Jack Mortic. Well, I just thought I should, you know, put an end to a debate that people love to argue in the Sonic community, and that is this idea that, you know, the Sonic X canon and the games are the same universe, which they are not. <coughs> A lot of people seem to think that the games and Sonic X are exactly the same universe, and again, they are not. Uh, and the biggest reason for that is, um, there are a lot of them, actually. It's ended very often in the show itself, and as well in the comics, the 40 issues of comics, I might add, that, you know, um, it's not the same. It's not the same universe. And we have proof of that because in the comics, which, and the issue I'm particular about to cite, is written by Ian Flynn himself back when he was writing for Archie. Uh, he wrote a comic that had Metal Sonic in it, and Eggman in the Sonic X universe had never seen Metal Sonic before in his life. So, yeah, that should kind of be a dead giveaway. Sonic, the games, did not happen in Sonic X, and vice versa, in the games, Sonic X has never happened. Two completely separate universes, and as well as a bunch of other factors that I've, you know, cited, that I could cite, but I'd rather have you, uh, figure them out for yourself. There are a lot of them, though. I actually have an entire playlist dedicated to those comics in the show in canonical order. Uh, maybe I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested. Um, it's the same way that the that the Sonic Boom universe and the games are not are not canon to each other. Just like it, it is not the same universe, or the Sonic OVA for that matter. Just like they're not the same universe. They're all alternate universes. <laughs> and if you want to go by, you know, terms of, like, how it goes in terms of the overall universe, mo or rather multiverse theory, uh, the first reality, the prime reality, would be, and, you're, and I know I'm going to get backlash for this, but would be Archie, the Archie comics. Um, because it's literally stated in there a bunch of times that, you know, that is the prime reality which all other realities of Sonic are based on. The games, the fucking shows, Sonic Underground, Sonic X, you know, uh, Sonic OVA, you know, Sonic Boom, just like they're all based on that one. Now, I know a lot of people don't like Ken Penders, but like he wasn't writing for them for that long. In fact, there were a lot of times where he wasn't even the writer. It was like, I think there was this one guy Carl Bowlers, I want to say it was, and he was the shittiest writer I have ever seen. He was good for a laugh and all that, but when it came to serious storytelling, he didn't know how to do Oot for shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's, but it's the truth, just like he sucks at actual good writing. What the fuck was that Avatar subplot? What the hell? Like, I, I feel like he was smoking too much weed out front with Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was a joke, of course, but the point is, I think he smoked weed every day. <laughs> um, but anyway. But anyway, the point is, just like, yeah, Archie Comics are the original reality, games are like, I don't know, maybe second, third-ish. Ah, uh, like... I have this whole thing mapped out of my head. I'd be glad to explain it in, uh, in the comments spot, yes. And, uh, I've, I have a whole host of, like, videos on this channel, or sorry, playlists on this channel, made by me, I might add, that I've been working on for the better part of, like, I don't know, a year-ish. <laughs> And it's been slow going, to be honest. Making playlists is not as easy as I make it look, I'll have you know. It's actually a lot harder than being a video editor. Because you have to make sure you watch every video you're using in full length. To make sure each and every part is explicitly the kind of stuff you want 
in your playlist. You have to make sure there's no non-canon stuff being thrown in there. For example, like having Sonic X abilities in the game universe. Like, that's, that's not something you can do. So if Rouge has a screw kick in the games, it's not going to happen. It doesn't happen. Like, it, it's not the same thing, so... That's why it would be not canon, for example. Um, but, like, another one would be, like, if they go off script and try to rewrite the script. I get it. Sometimes the scripts aren't that great. Like, uh, we all did it together. Just, like, whatever that was. Um, <laughs> yeah, I hated that line. And I know a lot of people probably hated it because I feel like Tails could have been more sympathetic to Eggman there. But, you know, he just instead went with, you know... We all did it together. Just like, okay. And yeah. But like, even so, rewriting the plot isn't going to help anything. <laughs> but yes, enough of my rambling. I'll, uh, I'll leave this uh, to the rest of the comments and whatnot. This is Jack Mortick, the Sega fan, signing off.